Welcome to another episode of ZBZ. The dojo's wide open. How are you today? I hope you enjoyed your weekend. I know I did. Spicer, your spicy today. <laughs> wow! And today on stream, we're gonna be working on some critiques. We're gonna be working on some NFT art. We're gonna be taking your questions. We're gonna be doing all that stuff that we do every single time we bring the heat in the TV hole. Don't go! But before we get started, let us give thanks and praise to the lords and gods of Sajir, starting with. The old father, Frank Frazetta. Thank you, Lord Frank Frazetta. Next, Saint Joseph, a priest. Next, Saint Paul. Look up here! 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 Good morning. Next, we have Ryan, King of Slian, and finally, Simon Lee, Spider. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Thank you for your education, your inspiration, and your overall badasses. What's going on, Dojo? What's going on? I had an excellent week. I gotta tell you, life has been extra 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 good to the sensei and i'm not complaining not one complaint at all little oddity games apparently i've never seen the start of the stream before well you need to get in you need to get in quick Dzing, give me that sweet spicer action ryan blau this is the most hype zb stream you damn right a tin of slug coming in hot Alrighty, so of course my light guy, Steve! Fuck up the lights again, Steve! Sorry about that. Now the now the lights are fixed. So Coda's where it needs to be. Working on another client project, the uh, Injustice Trinity. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. That I'm gonna see if we can get some uh, some permission to put it on the stream, but we'll see. Spark seven zero zero seven zero zero seven. Gonna get to your critique in just a second. Thank you for submitting your work. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything else uh, has been going good. Coda's done working on the Trinity, working on NFTs, um, starting a new semester of XMD Academy. So if you want to get uh, that 45% off early bird special, let me know. 
because it's only going to be going on for a little bit. All right. What's up, Rizu? Thank you for being here. Let's get over to the dojo. Okay. All right. So we're going to close that. All right. So um, let's get into our first critique. And if you want your piece uh, critiqued on the show, you just need to uh, let me know. Put the, um, uh, which we call it? Let's see, boom, while this is going on. Um, you can join our dojo. Uh, we have a section here called Critique and Submissions. Generally, every time I start off the stream, I prefer to have one of the dojo warriors work that I can help them uh, kind of level up. So this is a link. Um, if you do want to um, have your work critique, go to the critique submissions and submit your ZTL or a link to your ZTL and we will get to it, okay? So let's take a look. Um, let's go here. Turn that down a little bit so I can hear myself. Alrighty, so Spark 7000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
That way it doesn't look like she's uh, puffing up her lips. And uh, let's take a look at this jawline. Okay, so uh, your jawline is fine. Um, that uh, topology for the ear is really bad, but it doesn't matter. Um, unless you're gonna, well, I guess you are making it game ready, so you might want to fix this this area right here. I didn't think I'd notice, but I did, and now everyone in the dojo knows about it. How do you feel about that, Sparks? How do you feel about that? Hmm? I'm okay to upload something? Yeah, you are. Uh, go ahead, Rizu, put it in there, put it in there, put it in the uh, critique submissions. Okay, um, and so, uh, oh, we all gotta be ready, all right, okay. So one thing uh, that we have is that your canthal tendons are straight across from each other. Okay, and then you also have a lot of wobbling on the, um, on the upper eyelids. So what we need is a 15 degree tilt, and we need to get rid of that wobble, get rid of that wobble. Okay. Um, and uh, your eyelids are really, really soft. So I would uh, kind of put that in there and then I would make sure that your upper uh, eyelid is wider than your lower eyelid or your tarsal plate. So we gotta go over here and make sure that your tarsal plate rolls back with your eye, right? We don't want it to go straight up or forward, right? We want it going back to wrap around the eye. Boom, boom, boom. Right there, right there, okay? So we can bring all this back and then you can kind of see what we need to do to kind of fix this. Um, so let's see how big your eyes are. Yeah, your eyes are really, really large. Um, compared to the orbit. Um, so we'll go there. Um, put that, uh, let's see. No, we can't do that. Uh, let's go right here, put that in the center. Reset that, uh, bring it down uh, by 20%. Um, and then also do this, uh, hold shift, bring it down by 20%. Oop, that was too much. Right there. And then bring them forward. So, and then bring them forward. Um, and we also, I'm going to get rid of these eyelashes because... They are a detail for right now. So what we're working on is the major forms here. So right here, what I want to do is make sure that my eyelid is equal distance from the eye, um, especially right there. And we want to give her a cat eye, right? So, and then we want to hit the lacrimal punctum. So this is where your tears come out right there and then go down. And then you also have a lacrimal punctum for the bottom as well. So I'm just gonna get this. We're gonna get that little meat right in there. And so straight across uh, from here, BMV, um, we're gonna bring this straight, right? So this is gonna be a straight line coming from the canthal tendon. And then we're going to dive down and back up, okay? And you can see here at the edge that the distance uh, around the eye changed a lot. So it's one of those small things that we gotta pay attention to and make sure it's there. Okay. And then uh, you can make her as um, seductive as possible. Uh, Jeff Rowe, thanks. Uh, Mac Grimrune, Manny 3D, Trelligan, and V Angelus. Thank you very much for joining my Twitch. I will have to stream there more often. I need to. I need to. Because there's lots of projects I want to do on my own. But alrighty, so um, so now what we kind of need to do is uh, we need to fix this uh, this forehead. So here you can see that your your uh, zygomatic is going back into your head, and it's widest right around your temple. 
but it needs to be as widest right after your ear so that your temporalis can feed into it, right? So what I mean by that is that we need to extend it here, not so much at the front, okay? And then what we can do is we can, um, so top, uh, bottom of the uh, orbit is the top of the zygomatic, right? Always, always, always 100% without fail. That is always the case, okay? So here's the zygomatic arch, right? So this is the top of it. This is our temporalis, all feeding in right here, right? So if you open and close your uh, your mouth, you're gonna feel your temporalis uh, shrink and grow, okay? So, um, and then on zombies and stuff like that, uh, if we take a look at, um, let's look at uh, Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead zombies. Okay. Um, images. I just have hero zombies. Uh, I'm trying to find like a regular one. Um, And I saw Army of the Dead, I was like, eh, it was okay. It was too much melodrama, that's for sure. I was like, why are they talking about their feelings right now? They're robbing this bank. I'm like, I don't get this. Uh, let's go to Instagram, because I know Kevin Kirkpatrick just posted a bunch of stuff. Kevin Kirkpatrick. Okay. So, um, let's see. Okay, so here we go. So, um, let's just get that, right? So this is your zygomatic, this is your temporal arch. This is very stylized right here on what it's doing right here. This is not generally what it does, but this is your zygomatic. This is your orbit. Your, this orbit is really, really extended. Um, so you don't want to use this for reference one for one and he's also expressing his orbit But I just wanted to use this so you can kind of see the zygomatic and then the temporal arch coming through. Okay So that's kind of what we're hitting here As well, uh, just making sure that we're getting all this Right there smooth 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 and so your ear is too high, right? So if this is uh, our zygomatic, our zygomatic ends at the ear, right? So we need to kind of re-sculpt that right there. All right, so it should flow into the ear hole. Okay, and I'm not gonna worry about that ear because it's uh, topology issues, sparks. Apology issues. Robo Taikando! Thank you for being here, sister. I appreciate you. Okay, so so we have the zygomatic, top of the zygomatic, the temporal, and then the temporal arch. Okay, so the temporal arch is basically going to break right here. Okay, right there. It's going to go all the way back around and then go back into the ear. Okay, and then you're going to have all this muscle right here feeding into the zygomatic right there okay so that's the reason that we want to have the zygomatic widest along here okay and so now your malar is going to be right there that's going to be the bottom of your malar so now we're going to put that right there because it's going to line up with the bottom of your uh nasal aperture and then we're going to do that okay uh i see a lot of zygomatics going up over the ear that is loomis and loomis does that incorrectly okay uh i do realize how amazing loomis is but that's one of his things that he does wrong all the time so now that we uh, bring the ear down you can see we don't have um, a jaw or a length of the jaw anymore now it's just a mandible so now we got to bring this down here and for a female you want to have a very oblique line, okay? For males, you want to bring this down, right? Male, female, okay? And then um, the angle of the jaw right here is going to be much softer on this. 
Okay. So it's going to be very, very, very soft right here. For a man, it's going to be very prominent, right? You're really going to see that angle of the jaw right there. Okay. So just know that. All right. And then uh, your styloid process of your mandible or styloid. I'm sorry. The sternocleidomastoid right here is not anywhere to be seen. So you want to make sure you have that right there. Okay. Um, so now what you're missing is your infraorbital furrow. Infraorbital furrow is right here and it's going to go back around. Okay. And so you're going, it's on everyone. Everyone has it, right? So infraorbital furrow is attaching to, uh, this canthal tendon right here, right? So canthal tendon attaching to the infraorbital furrow and going around. Okay. So boom, 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 boom. We're going to get a little fat pad in there. Um, and if you want to get it really quickly, uh, what you can do is kind of mask this right around here. And then when we look up, you can see that the cheek really isn't there, right? It's, uh, rolling into the socket of the eye. So I want to fix that and really make sure that I have an orbit and then I have an eye there. Okay. And now you can see that the temple swooping down, then going straight and then going around. Okay. So. What we need to do is fix that. We need to boom and then have this one as a second hit. So one, two, and then around. Okay. And then now you have enough room for your eye. And if you feel the side of your, um, uh, the side of your eye right here and you feel your temple, you can feel like not even a, a fingertips width and you can feel that temple, right? So we want to make sure that we uh, honor that here as well. Okay. Um, uh, but, but, uh, I've been struggling getting the sizing of the eyes. All right, so the orbit and then shrink the eye 50% the size of the orbit, 50 to 65%, and that's how big that is, okay? Uh, I find eyes the most difficult thing. Yeah, on the face, that was probably the hardest bit for me to really, uh, to really get past, for sure. Um, uh, I upload a file, but no anatomy, I'm afraid. Well, not like this. No worries. As long as it's a, an organic creation, then I can do something with it. If it's like hard surface, I, I don't know what you want me to do. I, I've never proposed that I was in any good at hard surface, so... Um, but yeah, so, um, um, twisted, good vibes. Thank you very much. Uh, Pericad, I need to watch this at 2.25 speed. I'm really new to this. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Pericad! Thank you for being here. And if you ever want to critique, just let us know in the dojo. Uh, just give us a, um, Put in the critique submissions whenever I call out for them, and then I'll uh, critique them during the show. Okay. So here we can see that the malar is kind of rolling in, and I kind of want this a little bit more consistent, right? So right around there. And then uh, we can move this mouth back a little bit, and we can kind of get rid of this separation between the malar and the nasal labial, and we can put back in the nostrils right there and then get that going right there smooth it out smooth there we go okay um so that's kind of like um some of the things that i would do also your uh your glabella is really high for a female should be much lower which is going to bring the nose closer to um the upper lip And just making sure that I'm really, really knocking in this orbit very well before moving on. Okay. So uh, now we've got that. Um, let's smooth some things out here and there. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Um, let's fix this. Just fixing the lack of volume here on the side right there and then also right here 
Just making sure she doesn't look like a zombie or something like that. Right there. Um, let's see. There's something else wrong with this face. Um, let's see if we can fill in this area here. So she doesn't look so tired. Keeps on. Uh, let's let's get the inflate brush and see if we can fix that. Yeah, there we go. And widen the mouth a little bit. Um, let's see. Get that chin. Pull that out. Push us back there and yeah so that's kind of what I would do to fix face right there um, let me get a little bit more volume in here get a really nice solid jawline going but yeah so uh, let's turn on the texture again so we can get that and then we will uh, shift s let's go back to the beginning all right and let's go back to the beginning all right so you have almond eyes your eyes and then you have your cancel tendon but you don't have an infraorbital furrow nor an orbit to put your eye in i know this is kind of rough around here um, but i think this looks a little bit more believable in terms of proportions um and then uh your lip just has like one swoop uh mine's got the cupid's bow then going down then going here um and just a little bit more around here to describe what's going on along the face um, and those are things I would do for your piece uh, to kind of uh, make this a little bit more um, uh, attractive. All right. Uh, uh, Naffy Dynamo, what is uh, what is this uploading stuff that people are talking about here? Uh, you can. Join the uh, ZBHO Dojo, um, and you can put a link to your ZTL only. I am not taking ZPRs or OBJs or FBXs or anything like that. ZTLs only. Um, and um, you just go to critique submissions and put it in there, and then I will uh, check it out. You didn't give me a, a, a deer, a real deer, did you, Rizzo? Rizu, because I know nothing about animals. That would be uh, someone else. That would be someone else. Um, uh, could you post a link to your course? Sure, sure. Um, let's see. We have XMD. And I actually have a coupon code for 45% off. Let me get that. Um, boom, 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 boom. Um, uh, here we go. Okay, so, uh, you can use Mega Spicy 45 to get 45% off the course. Uh, it's not gonna get any cheaper than that. So definitely um, go check it out. Uh, and that is for the mentorship, uh, which is um, $7.97, but with 45% off. Um, or the on-demand, that's also 45% off. And also the uh, payment plan. So there's a three, uh, three pay installment, um, and the 45% also applies to that as well. 
So uh, the new semester is starting in a couple weeks. Uh, we've already opened up registration. So if you want, um, you know, if you're having a hard time with your anatomy, uh, then you definitely want to take my class because I will definitely uh, just through the videos alone, I will level you up. But if you're in the mentorship, then I will uh, also be uh, hanging out with you one on one. And we'll be going over your current project and um, making sure that it's um, that's anatomically correct, that it looks like it's in movement, that it's uh, evoking emotion, if you're ready for that. If you're not ready for that, then we're going to be focusing on anatomy because um, without anatomy, you have no language to express yourself in character art. Um, so we focus on that. So... Um, yeah, I suggest anyone, uh, whether you're, especially if you're just starting, then you definitely want to take the course so that we can ensure that you are uh, uh, starting off sculpting with the correct foundations and not just making stuff up or sculpting by shadow, but instead sculpting uh, the anatomy that you have learned. So, um, and we go like over the nose, over the eye, male and female um uh anatomy all that good stuff so uh definitely uh check it out and let us know what you think um but yeah uh, dum, bum, bum, bum. right there okay so yeah um and i can fiddle with this thing all day long um uh, but yeah that's what i would do brother and then fix this hairline because it looks like she's uh balding um so you really Come on. You really want to bring this forward right about there. Okay, same with this. You don't want to leave um, a lot of space uh, from from there. Okay. But now it looks like her her face is filled in a whole lot more just by moving that hair. Okay. Alrighty. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, yeah, it's good for beginners. Uh, you can definitely. Um, take the class um i don't know it's, i'm not a i'm not an animal sculptor rizu um i can't really say much about this um i can't give you any i mean on the human parts i can give you uh advice so um here the uh the shoulders too wide for the rest of the arm so we want to bring this in a little bit more we want to lengthen this out um, let's see, am I only on, oh, I'm only on one, okay, so, let's go back, X, there we go, okay, so the shoulder's a bit too wide, um, you need to bring them down a little bit, bring that down a little bit, um, maybe give it a little bit more flat here at the top, um, smooth that, get a little bit more because I, I don't know if you want like uh, cartoon arms if you want cartoon arms i mean i guess you do because of the style that you're presenting here so um i'm just going to hint at some major uh anatomy forms here and there uh, i'm not really going to um drive it home like i usually do uh just because for uh stylized cartoony stuff you don't really need to Right, you just need to hit some planes here and there, know where the dive downs are and where they're not, and then you're pretty much good. Um, I would say right there, right here, bringing this over. Right there, um, some indication of the rib cage. I mean, obviously he's pretty overweight, so we're not going to see it all that much. But at least you're, you'll have another shape in here to kind of mess with this. And then you don't want your stomach to be wider than your stomach, right? You can have a wide stomach, but you don't want it to be encroaching along your um, uh, the rest of your anatomy, right? Um, and it's a little bit more bend in the neck, especially towards the back of the neck. Um, a little bit more right here. So boom, 
swoop. You got that little like bean looking uh, shape that you usually see in cartoons. Um, but yeah, so anybody else has got a piece that they want me to go over, um, you still have time. So put it in the chat. Okay. Um, and maybe just a little bit more description. I'm sorry, I don't know what. Looks like you have uh, another piece in here. Uh, yeah, you got a little piece in there. Yeah, so this piece needs to be flipped. Um, uh, flip. Okay, double. There we go. Um, let's see. And just giving it, instead of going straight to the curve, you know, giving it a little, giving it a little pit stop before it completes that curve, right? Um, it's just going to give a little bit more visual interest to what's going on. Uh, instead of just, because there's, there's that little unexpected little hit, right? As opposed to just, re or just, just giving them the answer all the way. Right. Uh, thank you, Spicer, for this critique. I will study and apply it toward future sculpts. Awesome. Is it okay for beginners too? Yep. Um, yeah, you don't need uh, prior uh, anatomy experience before taking the class. Um, most don't. Most have no idea about anything in um, in anatomy. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rizu, yeah, no problem. Thank you. Anything helps at this point. No problem. Alina Boricua. Uh, so this means just me and you, uh, teaching? Yeah, so it's just, um, uh, one-on-one. -on -one. It's not a classroom, uh, because I, the last classroom environment that I was in for a tutorial or a, um, like a, you know, a course was a horrible experience because by the time... Uh, you know, you submit your stuff, uh, you try to be first in line so that the instructor is kind of energetic, but if you get towards the middle, towards the end, and you're in hour two and a half, hour three, then the instructor's kind of burnt out and ready to go, you know? Um, you can only push someone for so long before, uh, you know, they just start losing a little bit of um, enthusiasm unless they take a break or something. So uh, I never really got the attention that I wanted. Um, and then I took a mentorship that was one-on-one with Simon Lee, Spider Zero. And uh, I was like, yeah, this is the way I'm doing my course from now on because now you got me for the entire hour. I'm not focused on anyone else. No one's interrupting us. Because there's always that one person in class who will interrupt you, who will interrupt the entire... Um, um, the entire class, just because they have thought, they're like, oh, I have a question. And then they just like interrupt your session. And then the, and then it goes off on a tangent. And then now it's the next person. You know, it's just like, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want that. So, um, yeah. So we just have one-on-one -on -one mentorships. So I hope you get to uh, take a jump or take a, um, take a, uh, take a shot at uh, the course. Uh, are you going to give him man boobs? Ooh, that's a great idea. Maybe. The Marco Kio Sensei. <laughs> Always a pleasure to see you alive and learn so much from the best. A hug and all the good vibes from Venezuela. Thank you very much, Marco. A ten of slugs, sweet. Um, uh, Admiral Supernova. I do. It's an incomplete block out for Ruby fan art. No problem. Uh, Karan Bundele, I tried to try it. Gaming Mania, hi, what's going on? Karan Bundele, hi Spicer, I tried something for collectibles purpose. Can I send it for critique? Yes, you can. Uh, just put it in the correct section for the Dojo Discord. Uh, make sure it's a ZTL. That's all I'm going to take. Uh, Admiral Supernova, how would you block out the arms in a, in a, a pose from the wrist to the shoulder? Also, what chat? Huh? What are you talking about? Um... Yeah, it's a Discord server. I just, uh, put the link, uh, in there and I'll put it in there again. 
Okay. Um, there you go. So there's a uh, critique submission section. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna break this off. Let me break this off. Critique submissions, ZTLs only. And we got one from uh, Tenet Slug. You son of a bitch. Uh, okay, cool. Keep them coming, people. I want to spend the entire show critiquing stuff, okay? Um, and then uh, for this one, I'm just going to get rid of these. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these for right now. Uh, we'll just go split hidden for right now. Um, right there. Okay. And then uh, possibly uh, giving him a little bit more um, inviting eyes here. Um, right about there. Just depending on what uh, the character's mood is. Is he playful? Is he angry? Is he uh, scared all the time? Is he angry all the time? Is he uh, laughing all the time? You know, you know what's, what's his character? Who's his character? What are they doing? Uh, here you want to be a whole lot more aggressive uh, with these uh, with these shapes so that they read, right? Because uh, they're going to have to read from every single uh, angle. So you want to make sure that um, that does, okay? Uh, and again, you know, I'm not a... Um, I'm not a animal creature sculptor or anything like that. So I can't really give you a whole lot of helpful information on this one, brother. Um, sorry about that. Uh, but if you ever do a humanoid, I got you. I got you. Because I can only really uh, focus on um, the human parts of this. Okay, uh, but yeah, you just need a few more uh, form changes and stuff like that, because you can't um, you can't just have one continuous curve and think that it's going to be interesting to look at, right? So you need to kind of um, give uh, have a whole lot more counterbalance to your sculpting and be able to command that whenever you want, right? Um, so yeah. Just be careful. Okay. Uh, so that's the one. Uh, how do I get a ZTL format? You go to the very top right, save as on your tool menu. Uh, Gaming Mania. Thank you. I'll join. Nice. Alrighty. So uh, let's see. This is a tin of slug. Alrighty. Um, Alright. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, lots of good stuff in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you got a lot of good stuff in here. Lots of really good shapes. You just need to kind of bring it together. Um, so, uh, your shoulder here is just taking up way too much real estate. This is way too big for a shoulder. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock off this right here. This front part. Right there. Okay? And then that's going to allow me the room needed to bring in the pectoralis here. So boom, 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 boom. Okay, so you need to shave off that uh, that front deltoid right here. Uh, your lateral head is quite small in comparison. And uh, we need to make it a little bit longer, right? Because this is kind of like a, like a strawberry. All these heads are coming together right here at this tip right there, right? So we need to make sure that they all come together right here okay your brachialis is going this way it needs to go uh into the pit of your arm this way okay so it needs to go in there um and then your tricep is attaching here and it needs to uh have an egg okay an egg with a lazy nine, okay? So, boom, and wrap that around the elbow, okay? That's where that's going, okay? 
And then your uh, inside uh, tricep, you're going to have the long head. And then you're going to have the third head going to the uh, epicondyle of your humerus right here. So this is going to be the third head, second head, and then the short head right here. Okay. Now I'm just going to be really, really loose with this. Um, and then your... Um, that's fine. Um, you need to have a little bit more sharper of an elbow here. Um, so we have our tricep, we have our brachialis going into the pit of our arm right here. And then in between these is where your brachial radialis is going to come in. Okay. And whenever they're, um, you know, this built, you're really, really going to have this ledge here as it's coming around right there. Okay, so it's coming around right there. If we we're gonna bisect this, it would do that, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, that's kind of uh, the part that you need to fix on your arm for this, okay? And then from here, you have your extensors coming from your elbow and they need to come from uh, this, uh, this ledge right here, right? So this peak right here, you're gonna have your uh, epicondyle of your humerus and this is where your extensors are coming from. So everything that has to deal with opening your hand is right here, okay? Boom, 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 boom. So do, 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 okay? And then you're missing the styloid process of your ulna. So this is that little knot on the side of your wrist here, okay? And you definitely need that. Make sure it's on the superior side, uh, not in the middle. And then you want to connect your elbow to it, right? So you just want to connect your elbow right here to it. Um, and then you're going to have your uh, aconeus muscle, which is going to come out and uh, grab onto that ulna right here, okay? Um, and then on the inside, uh, you're going to have your medial epicondyle, okay? So this is your funny bone. And if you squeeze your, uh, your fingers and you put your, uh, put, you know, your middle finger on the funny bone and then put a finger above and then you'll feel the origination here and the muscle carrying through with this finger right here. Okay. So we really want to make sure that we have that coming through right there. Okay. Um, so boom, we're going to have it go over the ulna right here and then come back and go down the palm of uh of our wrist so right here so boom so right there and then um you want to bring this over right so this pronator terrace right here so this allows you to flop your radius over right oops right in here and then um get all that right and then uh, just kind of complete this this isn't going to have any uh, digitation um, for your arm it's generally just going to be a overall form okay alrighty so we have the epicondyle so now we have the brachial brachialis right here that's going to go right in here right there and then the um, um, coracoid brachialis right here, this little triangle that comes from your armpit, and then your bicep right here, which is kind of swooshing up uh, that way. So I'm just gonna recenter it down the arm, okay? So that's generally uh, what you need to fix on this, uh, on this piece. Um, and then make sure that you connect your um, your deltoid. The muscle is here, you are correct, but you wanna complete it by going to the edge right here, but have most of the form be right there, okay? Are y'all listening? Um, boo, 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 brimstone beard. What's up, Spicer? What's going on, brother? I checked out your stream. Good job, good job. 
Uh, it's only giving me ZPR options. That's because you're going to file up here and then you're doing save as. I'm asking you to go over to tool over here on the right side, save as, and it will be a ZTL. Okay. Um, do do do. Harry Mandibles, Aloha Sensei. What's up, Dojo? What's going on, Harry Mandibles? Uh, thank you, Rizu, for answering that. Nafi Dynamo, I can't upload my model as it's above the Discord's limit size. What to do? Upload it to G Drive or Dropbox and then put a link in there. Um, alrighty. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I would do there. And if we're gonna continue this, um, uh, let's see. Um, let me double check the inside of this arm because I feel like something's missing. Um, Nope, that's fine. Alrighty. Okay. So we just need to bring that over and make sure it's taking up a little bit more room, but that's about it. And then fill that in. And then make sure that our um, pronator terrace is filling in that little space right there. Okay. Have that wrap in, and then you're good. Okay. Um, so let's see what else is sticking out to me. Um, your back is okay. It's okay. Uh, and you're gonna have the same issues on this arm as you did this arm. All right, the biggest thing is that your tricep is slashing that way when it should, uh, again, have the, the same forms that we have on the other side. Um, and you should kind of even it out a little bit, right? A little bit more form. Okay, so your back uh, is going to go here, and you want your terrace major to be a little, uh, your scapulas are going to be a little bit taller than what you have here, uh, unless you have a skeleton underneath, which uh, will change things, but that's fine. Okay, so your lateral head is attaching to your humerus, your medial head is uh, going in between uh, your terrace major, which is right here, going into your armpit. So your Terrace Major is going to go into there. And then your Terrace Minor is going to go that way. And then your triceps is going to feed into both of those, right? In between those. So it should feed into there. Uh, you want to be very careful that your scapula doesn't get too puffy. Okay? You want to make sure it's nice and flat. Okay? And then, um, so we have the um, Terrace Major. And then we have the Lat. And then that's going to come down uh, and attach the way you have it. And then your lat's going to come over and do all this. Uh, but one thing that uh, really uh, separates those who can sculpt the back from those who can't is putting in this, um, this trail off of your serratus muscles as they come forward to the front, right? So this, this line, this depression that I'm putting is going to follow the... Uh, the uh, serratus muscles right here, okay? Right there. Okay. And then uh, your obliques need to come from here, so we need to follow the back a little bit more, right there. Bring this forward, bring it over, and then to the ninth rib, right? So it's going to be right here. There's gonna be the front of your oblique. Boom, boom, boom. Bring that over, make it a little bit wider than the uh, than the actual hip, because it is being uh, twisted on this side, right? So you're gonna have a skin wrinkle in here and all that stuff. Okay. Um, your uh, sternocleidomastoid is going this way. Okay. What it needs to do is it needs to go to your sternum. So regardless of where the head is turned, or how the head is turned, excuse me. It's always gonna go to the sternum. Over here, you're gonna bring it all the way from over here, and I know it's gonna feel weird and all that, and you're not gonna be able to see a lot of it, but it still does the same thing. So, uh, part of sculpting is just accepting 
anatomy and accepting that this muscle does it uh does things that you might not understand but whenever you sculpt it according to those rules it makes way more sense okay uh and then you have a very soft jawline right in the last one we were talking about the angle length of jaw angle of jaw and then the mandible okay so you need a much more uh, especially for this uh size body and this body style body style uh we really want to uh i'm not sure why why do you have an open mouth here uh but yeah you really want to make sure uh you have that okay um and so then uh off of this we're going to have this little uh jaunt right here and then this part of the neck we want to keep very cylindrical and then this part we want to make sure uh attaches to the front of the clavicle to the to the chromium process and all along the scapula as well which you pretty much have okay um and let's see uh i like this hip area it's looking really good um but yeah i think it's that's a good amount of information right now um and just a bicep just make sure it's not all wiggly wobbly make sure it's a little bit more down the center Okay. So, yep, yeah, that's what I would do, brother. That's what I would do. Um, and uh, just make sure that the front of your leg... What the hell? Uh, make sure the front of your leg doesn't curve too much. All right. You want to have a curve up here, not down there. Okay. So much curve here and then straight and then go down okay uh but yeah i think it's enough information for right now um go ahead and fix these issues um uh, make sure you have the head of your clavicle here make sure you have enough room for your sternum you should have two fingers right there uh to spread your the heads of your clavicle so that your sternocleidomastoid can attach to it. And remember, the attachment point is very, very thin, barely any uh, thickness. And so by the time it's down here, it's pretty much just non-existent, right? So you really only need to focus about the muscle that's up here and then let it die off. And that's really all you're doing and just giving a little bit of direction here and there just to show it, right? Okay. Um, and... Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, four. Okay, uh, Spiron, you got yourself a venom, huh? You got yourself a venom, huh? Let's see, um... Alrighty, so let's see. Battletoad. Alrighty. So it's looking pretty good. Um, okay. You have some good shapes in here, but then there's some that are uh, kind of wonky. Uh, in terms of uh, overall shape, uh, you can see you've got this, this, that, this, that, and then it goes around. Okay. I would be a little bit more simplified with all of this so that it's a little bit easier to read. Um, that's fine. Because you're trying to get the, the curve of the uh, of the rib cage here. Um, and I guess this is what the character looks like. I'm not, I've never played Battletoads, but uh, I realize you're, you're trying to get this rib cage thing here, um, but we kind of need to uh, bring that out and so I don't want the rib cage to just come down and then end right I want it to end in a V 
what I want is for this to kind of come up here and curl back up, all right? And whenever that happens, I want to bring my obliques in here to kind of get rid of that, um, uh, this plane change right here, right? So whenever this breaks into the eighth rib, we've got the obliques to kind of come in and uh, kind of uh, fix that area, okay? Uh, this um, deltoid is way, way, way too far. I would bring it back right over here, which will allow you to get a little bit more heftier of, um, of your um, pectoralis, your clavicular head. Um, and then your bicep is just ending. It needs to go up. It ends here. Right? So it needs to go all the way up your humerus or your arm bone. Okay, uh, here. And then you need three heads. Really, you only have one, two. Okay, so you need three. So you have the front right here, which uh, we just talked about. And then you want um, this, you want to end right here, right? So you want your frog clavicle or your frav, 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 clav, flavicle, fro frog, 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 right? You want it to end there. And so now I want this head of my deltoid to come out from there, okay? So you should have three heads to your deltoid. You should have your anterior, which is your front, right? Your lateral, which is your, uh, the acromion process one. And then your rear delt, okay? But your rear delt is going all the way out here. And like we had on the other one, it should end here, right? there and then we're going to just neutralize the form up into the scapula which is what you're trying to do here right so this would be the scapula right there all right and just going through this quite quickly all right so here we've got the deltoid and that's coming over okay so that's what we kind of need. And then you can see your tricep just really taking a dive in form. So we really want to fix that as well, right? So boom, really fill in this form so it doesn't suddenly lose uh, any volume, okay? Uh, next, you have this big old flat part right here on your traps. And we want to, uh, if we're coming back from here, then we really want to give it a little bit more organic shape as opposed to uh, this very hard edge that you have or this flat plane that you have. So I'm gonna just round it out a little bit more. It's not really changing the profile, it's just changing the form of it, right? And I'm not gonna worry about the face. I don't, I don't know anything about frog heads, okay? Um, and then your seventh cervical vertebra, it's probably gonna be around there. And so you want a spearhead of aponeurosis around it. Right there. And then this is going to give you a whole lot more interest. It's not just going to be one shape. You're going to have all this stuff in here that's going to keep the visual interest of the uh, of the viewer. Okay. So boom. By the time it gets down here, it's going to be very, very thin. Okay. So we don't want bulk from beginning to end on every single muscle, okay? Very, very rarely does that happen, okay? So uh, here, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I usually sculpt uh, scapulas. So first thing I'm gonna do is get a flat angle here. I'm gonna go all the way to the corner right there. And I want this nice and flat, okay? Because your scapula is represented as a flat plane artistically. So, and now I'm just gonna sculpt the deltoid over and then carry that to the, to the corner. And so now I have this visual interest of this very flat, um, flat plane that I can start um, mixing in with organic shapes, okay? And now you can see how flat this is. You got boom, and then it goes across, okay? And what we need to do is make sure that this is going along with the rib cage. Okay, because muscles don't create form on their own. They have to go off of the rib cage uh, on the torso, of course. Okay, so we've got the uh, the scapula here, 
And then just like on the other guy, we're going to have that uh, depression right here that's going to guide us into the serratus that you've got here already, okay? So another thing that's bothering me about this is that your rib cage is going out this way, you see that? So what I wanna do is I wanna bring this back in towards the, uh, the heads of my clavicle, right? Because your rib cage comes out and then goes back in at the top, right? It doesn't come out and then go this way and then just cut off across, right? So if we take a look, look up here! If you take a look at the rib cage, um, and even if this is a female rib cage, it doesn't matter because it's going to do the same thing, right? So you can see it's going back up into the heads of the clavicle, right? Going back up into the neck. It's not going uh, out here and then cutting off across, all right? It's going out. This is going to be the widest part right around the xiphoid process right here. And then it's going to come back in, okay? So that's what we want for this as well. Okay. So we want to bring this out, bring that in, and then we can kind of give them a little bit more. And I know this is stylized and all that stuff, but it would look a whole lot better if it was like this. Because you can't really, you know, be a slave to some cartoon artist that never really studied anatomy, you know? And you're trying to bring it into 3D and trying to break all these rules to make this image instead of making the image better with, uh, by keeping those rules, okay? There is a time to break them, of course, but even within, even while you're breaking those rules, you're still going to use the rules to break them if that makes any sense okay and then you're you have a nice you have this curve right here that makes it seem very saggy and almost uh breast like so i'm just going to straighten that out a little bit more and you can see here it's just boom and then swooping off that's not what we want we want to cut it off right there okay so now i'm going to sculpt in these heads so we're going to have the clavicular head right here we're gonna have a little fossa right here or an empty space in between the clavicular head and the uh, anterior um, deltoid, okay? And so this is gonna be one form, boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna have the sternal head, which is gonna go back over here, right? Because all of your uh, pectoralis end here, okay? Well, three spots up, up and down here but pretty much right there. So this is where your trajectory always needs to come from for your pectoralis. No matter if it's all the way up here or all the way back there or neutral, it's always going to go over the bicep and attach at the end, okay? And so now we've got the sternal head, uh, which is gonna go underneath the clavicular head, right? Um, right there. And then we're going to have the uh, thoracic head which is everything attached to the rib cage right here, okay? So it's gonna go boom, 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 boom. And then generally you're gonna have a tail that kind of comes off and attaches to the sixth rib whenever you have someone of this uh, stature. Okay. Um, and so now the bicep, um, let's see. The bicep uh, has got a whole lot of things wrong with it. Probably due to my sculpting first and then... Okay, so let's fix this uh, lat, all right? So the reason your lat isn't showing up is because it's so flat, all right? So this needs to go into, it comes from the armpit, okay? So make sure your lat always comes from your armpit and then attaches to the very top of the back of your butt, okay, right here. All right, um, and then maybe uh, a little bit deeper here for the spine right there. Okay. So um, now what we need to do is bring in the lumbar. So that's going to come right here on the last floating ribs. It's going to come right there. And then you're going to have your spinal erectus right there. Okay. And then your lat coming this way and your obliques coming from 9, 10, 11, 12, this way, 
Okay. So he's already looking a little bit more believable here. Okay. Alrighty. So uh, now we're going to get the bicep here. The bisection for the bicep is going to happen up here. Okay. So it's going to happen up there and then they're going to come together here at the bottom. Okay. So boom. And we just want to make sure that it's not going directly into the uh, pit right here. We want to make sure we have this little trail coming off of the conjunction of both biceps into the radius. Uh, your brachialis is looking, is going in the right direction, which is a welcome change for sure. Okay, so boom, going that way. Your tricep is just a little bit too long. Need to end it sooner. And then bring this tail and make sure it goes around your olecranon. Okay, so it's just gonna go around right there. So boom, right there, right there. Then your brachial radialis is gonna come out here. And make sure whenever you have this um, level of muscle that it comes out pretty far. Okay, something like that. And then on the inside, um, we're just lose, you're just you're losing a lot of form in here. So let's finish this uh, bicep. Um, so here we're going to center the bicep. Then we're going to get the um, brachialis in here. Boom, 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 boom. Right there. And then um, right here, we're gonna get the tricep. It's gonna be the same, uh, you know, it's the same, same issue, right? So uh, the outside head is called the short head because it is shorter, right? So we wanna make sure that these uh, heads of the tricep are asymmetrical, right? This one's gonna be much longer. Right there, okay? Boom, boom, boom. And then uh, we're gonna have uh, this long head right here. And then the third head that attaches to the epicondyle right about there so it's a little bit more forward right here okay and then uh now we need to get all the flexors that are going to come from the uh epicondyle right here which i think makes the inside of the forearm a whole lot easier right you only have one connection point one origination point and that's really all you have to worry about right so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have this epicondyle right here and now all of my flexors are going to come from that singular point. Make sure it's round. Make sure around the wrist right here that this is quite uh, rectangular, okay? Because this is what's going to make the wrist seem so big is that, um, is or uh, the forearm so big is because it has to go into a very small wrist, okay? and you want to have more on the top than you do on the bottom okay so uh we're gonna bring this form over and attach it right there we're gonna get our pronator terrace right here have that go in there and then the uh, rest of that okay um but yeah and then the, this is just way too cavernous all this i mean you at least need this taint Right in there, you know what I'm saying? Gonna have that right there. Um, probably end this crotch. Should have an upward angle before it ends, right? It should come out and then down, not straight across, right? So, boom, right here, and then go down. Yeah. Uh, bring that over, bring that down. Okay, and um, something like that. Okay, um, but yeah, so that's what I would do to kind of bring this together so you can kind of take a look at it. Uploading. 
Um, uh, Brimstone. Oh, thanks, man. I'm getting sculpted off with draws. Oh, we will be back uh, after next week. Prashant Shrimal. Good morning. Good morning to you as well. Uh, Nafi Dynamo uploaded. All right, I got you. JM Cigarza. Spectacular work. Success. Thank you very much. Ten of Slug. Awesome. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Uh, Josh Miero. Epic anatomy lesson. Sergio Santel. Welcome back. Hey, Spicer Sensei. Greetings and how are you? I am doing wonderful. This month has been amazing. Harry Mandible. Sick. Big Bat 95. My heart. Uh, Rizu Zan, don't need my morning coffee, just Spicer Stream. Twisted, Lamau, Jesus, second time you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Gotta keep him awake, that's right, Rizu. Harry Mandibles, that means it's working. Jeremy De La Cruz, Guerrero! Hello, what are you sculpting? I am doing critiques today. Critiques, critiques, anatomy critiques. The Marco Kio. Jojo four forty. Literally sitting here, just amazed at your work. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Tavisted, brilliant work. Loving every minute of this. Thank you very much, Charlie Marta. What's going on, Charlie? Yeah, post your work up in the critiques and uh in the dojo and we'll take a look at it all right so you can see just bringing this rib cage back is really really bringing a whole lot more believability into this i didn't touch the abs uh that much um but uh they do need to be worked on and you can see instead of just having one shape for my shoulder i have one two three right and then i'm moving the shoulder back and now i have a whole lot more room for my uh pectoralis um, I'm not um, skirting away from the uh, from the uh, forms that are on the inside of the forearm, um, and then uh, instead of having this come out and then c coming back out again, it kind of looks a little feminine. Um, we're bringing this down and making it more of a core right here. Okay, so hopefully uh, this helped out. Um, who was that? Give me Battle Toad. Uh, who was that gave me battle toad? What was that JS? Who gave me battle toad? Who gave me battle toad? Speak up! Jeez, Nafi, what are you doing, Nafi? All right, so hopefully that helps you out, Nafi. Um, and just make sure you uh, have all the heads and all that stuff. Uh, the deltoid, make sure you have a scapula and all that good stuff, okay? And don't be deleting stuff, okay? Don't you be doing that in my dojo. Alrighty, venom, 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 venom. All right, um, all righty. So, um, but yeah, if anybody else uh, wants critiques, uh, we still got a couple more. Uh, you can go to the ZB Ho Dojo and you can post a uh, ZTL or a link to your ZTL in the chat and I will go over it uh, tonight. Alrighty, so uh, Venom. Who is Venom? Venom is. Speed on, speed on. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure, Nafi. I'm glad it was helpful. Glad it was helpful. Okay, so um, this hand doesn't make sense. It's like he's running like that. I'm not sure what this is. I would probably overturn that hand unless he's carrying something maybe he's carrying something and you haven't sculpted it yet but this hand doesn't make any sense okay um the anatomy is looking pretty good what you need help with are your bony landmarks because you have a whole lot of flesh but you don't have any bony landmarks uh let's see if you have uh you do have the styloid process the knee is kind of there but uh your leg is all twisted as well 
Um, okay, so here, what you need to do is you need to bring this elbow out, right? Uh, you want to really, really make sure that, right? See how that's rolling in? Let's see. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Um, and let's just solo this out. Okay. Um, and then your pectoralis is ending right here. It needs to end over here. Right? And then your shoulder is going above your pectoralis. So what you need to do is you really need to have this clavicle in here. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Really need to have that clavicle in there. It needs to be very, very solid as you're going through. Okay, because now I can get my clavicular head in here. Uh, boom, there we go. Okay, um, right here, right there. And you don't have any clavicles, so you need your sternum first. And then you need your clavicles. Boom, boom, okay? And so now we know where this pectoralis is going to go through. Okay. Um, okay. So that's what we need there uh, without getting too fine into the details. Okay. Um, so how come y'all don't polygroup your shit? Polygroup your shit! Oh man, how do y'all not polygroup your arms and polygroup your body so that you can work on it separately with a click? I, I don't know. I don't get it. What are y'all doing? Do y'all just have the, the entire mesh up the entire time? What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What are you doing? Okay. So there's gonna be more uh, around here, around the sternum, it's gonna be a little bit less. So most of the meat is gonna be right about there, okay? And then it's going to go into that. All right. Uh, into the uh, pit. Okay. And so now what we need to do is kind of move this right here. Move it over so that we have the uh, lateral head where it needs to be. And then your posterior head, you just have, like, you, if we're going on style, you got style. Okay. You got style. But whenever it comes to believability, uh, you're almost there. You're almost there. It's just, you know, your bony landmarks are really what you're missing. Because you have great musculature all over this thing, but you don't have any bony landmarks to kind of contrast it. And remember always having that um, trail off from the scapula to go into our serratus muscles right here. And then you can see how bumpy your scapula is. So again, what we want to do is we want to have this flat, okay? We want it flat, 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 flat. Right there. Okay, and then we want to sculpt the deltoid over it. Okay, and bring that over there. You're going to have your uh, teres major here, teres minor, and then your tricep will fit in between those two. And then you have your infraspinatus and all that good stuff, okay? You really, really need to get that, uh, get this uh, contrast of organics and bony landmarks, because your your work's always going to look uh, blobby and um, amateur until you can get that last bit of your uh, of your studies in. Okay, so please do it. All right, and if you take my course, we'll figure that all out for you. We'll figure it all out for you. We will teach you every muscle in the body and how to sculpt them. All right, and then it's just up to you. All right, and then armpit, lat, right? So now we have that, okay? And again, um, you're mixing your serratus muscles in with your lat, okay? So you want your lat to be your lat and then your serratus muscles come off of here right so we're going to have our scapula and then we want it to come off of the scapula and go up into the nipple okay and so now we can kind of redirect our lat here 
and then have our serratus muscles right here but we want our serratus muscles to be separate from our lat and we want them to go back up into our um scapula okay uh you're missing your sternocleidomastoid here uh so pretty much everything is throat so we need to put the the um, that in there the uh the pit of the neck we need and, you know again you have a whole lot of style but you just don't have um um you're just missing you're you're covering up your foundations but you're also missing a lot of your foundations so you know it's i'm not saying you need to mm, forget style and just go straight anatomy because anatomy is a tool it's not a rule but uh if you can add it in here like especially here where your where your neck just dives down so harshly you know you need to fill this up and then put the seventh cervical vertebrae in here and then put the neck in here make sure your traps are coming from the right place because your traps are covering up so much space and i know you want them to be bulky and everything but they need to be in the right place or else uh it's always going to look amateur okay um let's see your biceps looking good your triceps okay it's just kind of swerving off you have this going in here that going out there you have two elbows um so we need to uh fix that okay so your elbow is going to be a pyramid so boom 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 okay think aliens okay right there and then this uh aponeurosis right here is going to be flat okay well not flat flat but it's definitely not going to bow out the way that you have it okay so we need to get a little bit more right here okay um and then we need a little bit more separation for your brachial radialis you want this going around uh your olecranon or your elbow right so you have your short head boom 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 right here and then you have your long head right here and then your long head is going to attach to your medial epicondyle right here okay right there uh your flexors look good uh you see how you have this wrinkle going back you want to carry this over right so you just want it to go over like that you don't want to put that fold in there just yet okay so boom, 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 boom. Okay. Uh, this is looking okay. It's just that it's uh, real, real. Okay. And what it needs to do is just come out. Boom. Just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Right there. Uh, okay. Your, uh, your calf is originating from the side of your knee and needs to originate from behind your knee. Okay, so this needs to not be so far forward. Uh, and you need to fill in this, this space here. Um, you need to have your knee. be cool to see the tendrils come off him pointing towards pointing forward aggressively um left hand should be reaching forward in my opinion picky -oid. thunderstorm art merc uh here mandible sick piece though spark seven zero zero seven zero zero seven i learned to use polygroups the hard way john quest spicy spice man we I can vouch that Spicer's course is awesome sauce. Sign up for it. Thank you very much, John. The Marco Keo, my wife asked me, what's wrong with that gentleman who's screaming so much? And I say, he's teaching in the proper way. Um, Mad Cuz Bad. Is the course already out and where to get it? Um, the course is always out. 
Um, let's see. Do I still have that up here? There we go. Uh, you can go to XMD Academy. Uh, you can use, uh, what was the uh, coupon code? What was the coupon code? What was the coupon code? Uh, you can use Mega Spicy 45 for the uh, on demand, for the um, uh, for the uh, whatchamacallit, uh, for the on demand, for the mentorship, and for the payment plan. That Mega Spicy 45 will get you 45% off. And trust me, we don't ever go any lower than 45% off. So this is only going to be running for a short while. And then we're going to open up general um, um, general enrollment. And that discount will not be as high as 45% guaranteed. So get it while you can. Get in while you can. And uh, let's um, make sure we put you back on track to becoming... A, a professional sculptor okay um boom. okay so uh with the uh knee it's pretty much the same right it's a shield um that we got to block out first and then this vastus lateralis is going up into up and over the center of your leg right so what we want to do is make sure that this vastus lateralis is kissing the very edge of our knee right here, all right? The medial side, and then we want it coming back, right? So we want something like that, okay? And then your rectus femoris, which is a muscle that's going straight up and down your leg, is uh, supposed to come from your hip, right? So it needs to come from here. Yours is coming all the way back here, which is pretty much from your glutes, right? So we need to, um, put this a little bit further towards the center of the um, femoris or the leg and um, we need this tendon to go to that rectus femoris okay so we don't want to suddenly have this huge bulking uh, muscle right here because we need to connect the rectus femoris because this is just a tendon right so tendon doesn't create form it reacts to form so if this is where you want to put your knee, then you need to put your vastus lateralis a whole lot lower, right? Right there, and bring that across. Right there, okay? Um, and your hip is all the way back here when your hip needs to be all the way up here. Okay, so this is where your leg should be beginning, but yours is all the way back here, okay? So um, there's just so much in here. You don't have a polygroup, so I'm not going to uh, work on that. Okay, so um, your glutes. So right well, here. Um, let's see who joined. Uh, ACS, thank you very much for joining the dojo. Okay, so we're gonna have the great trichanter right here, which is this uh, hip bone. And we're going to do a NASCAR, right? So, and that's going to be your vastus lateralis or the uh, your outside uh, quad muscle, okay? And this is going to go back and forth and back and forth, okay? It's going to end in a uh, tendon that's going to attach to the head of your tibia right here, okay? So, this is going to go down. We're going to have a ligament. Does anybody know what the difference between a ligament and a tendon is? And I swear to God, if you've already taken my course and you answer correctly or incorrectly, you're done. Okay. This is for people that have never taken my class. Okay. So if you know what the difference is between a tendon and a ligament, put it down in the chat. Maybe you'll get something. Maybe you won't. What is the difference between a ligament and a tendon? Uh, Rodel, Rodel, Feta. Uh, that is true, but we're looking for one. Spark 7007007. Tendons do stretch. Ligaments do not. Uh, tendons taste better. Yes, that is true. Okay, so this ligament here 
that's attaching from the bottom of your patella to your sitting bones, right? So um, whenever you pray or you go down to clean something off the floor, you are um, um, kneeling on these bones right here, right? On the front of your um, shin, okay? So the ligament is pretty much organic steel. It doesn't stretch, okay? This up here does. This tendon right here, it does, okay? So we're gonna shave off a little bit of that. Uh, we're gonna get this rectus femoris right here and we're gonna attach it to this tendon. So whenever we have our knee bent, so if we have, uh, let's call my knuckle the very end of our patella, okay? And this, in the very beginning of my finger right here is the ligament, okay? So then we have, and this section right here is my kneecap, okay? So if I'm gonna bend my leg, I'm going to bend the top of my knee back, right? This is the top of my knee and that's the bottom. And this ligament does not change, does not move, does not stretch. So you're pretty much your knee is going to do this whenever you bend your leg, all right? It's not gonna go that far back. It's pretty much gonna go about that far back. But the idea is that the ligament in the bottom of the kneecap does not move, okay? So uh, this one's looking fine. Uh, you, know, you can bring it back, whatever. But yeah, it's looking fine, okay? Um, so your uh, hamstrings back here are going this way and they're going that way, which is fine. But you have three hamstrings. You only need two. Okay, so we need to simplify a lot of your work and then uh, be a little bit more deliberate, right? So over here, we're going to have the hamstring and it's going to attach to the head of the fibula right here. Okay, so we're going to have the shelf of the vastus lateralis and then we're going to have this, um, oops, uh, this uh, uh, hamstring head right here going over and attaching right there. And then your calf will be behind all of that, right? So this is gonna go over here. It's gonna to attach to the head of the fibula. And then you're going to have the fibularis longus, which is going to come off of here and then go around there. Okay, so we need to right about there, fibularis longus going around right there. Um, and this calf is looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, looking good. It's just coming too far forward. So we need to fix that. And then right here, all uh, after the head of the tibia right here, we really, really need to dig this in uh, all along here and make sure it hits. And this ankle is gonna be pretty substantial uh, to carry all of this weight, you know, all the bone structure and all that. So we really wanna make sure it ends and does anybody remember the Venom trailer? It's like so underwhelming. Same with the Eternals. I was like, what the hell is this dumbass looking movie about? It's like, what the hell is this? It makes no freaking sense. But anyway, so we have the, uh, the curve of the uh, tibia going into the, uh, the ankle. And then we're going to have the anterior tibialis, which is an egg. Lots of eggs in the body, by the way, in terms of overall shapes. And then it's going to go across the ankle and go into our instep right here. Okay. And then we're going to have the other muscles here kind of filling in this. And you want a much larger ankle right here. Okay. And so that's kind of what I would do. And I'm not sure what the hell that is. But yeah, okay. So that's what I would do. Um, and then everything else I've already uh, explained on other people's models. Um, so if you're having any issues, I would go back in this uh, stream and take a look at it, okay? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> um, ba 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 ba. Dun, 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 dun. Hold a hoo -hoo. Uh, da, da, da. All right, everybody. 
So I need y'all to do something for me, all right? I don't know what it is, but I have a group of people that love to come in and downvote my video, okay? So I need everybody to give this a like. I need to make sure that you're subscribed, whether it be on Twitch or on YouTube, make, and especially Facebook. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, if you're watching this later, uh, and you have questions, put them down in the chat and either myself or someone from Pixelogic will answer your question, okay? So just do me a favor, give me some love, please, 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 please. Thank you very much, it's already gone up 10. Thank you very much. If you've learned anything, please go to YouTube. I'll even put the link in the chat. Please give it a like. Uh, I don't know what is going on, but I literally have a crew of people that come in and dislike the video every single time, which is great, I guess. You know, it's good to have consistent haters. But uh, I would greatly appreciate y'all to totally tip that in the other direction for me. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. A tendon connects muscle to bone and the other doesn't. Correct. Magi Euster. Map 3D, bone to bone versus muscle to bone. That is right. Uh, Magi Esther, he is thick dope. No. That's right. Slump XD, Dr. Spicer knows his anatomy. Slam Jam 92 I've been watching your anatomy videos lately. Super useful when sculpting. It's crazy. Thank you, Slam Jam. Math3D, since muscles can only contract if you replace them with hydraulics, you can punch through walls. Awesome. Uh, Harry Mandibles, the Eternals. Oof. Yeah, real bad. Admiral Supernova, if venom is actually made of goo, would normal anatomy even apply? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Um, Math 3D, I already put that. Uh, Rizu Zan, I really admire anatomy sculpts, but do you think muscles are overused too much sometimes and focus on 5 to 8% body fat? Do you teach about fat distribution and other things in the course? Um, generally, nine times out of 10, we are tasked to sculpt idealistic people. Uh, people go to art and they go to stories and they go to all of that to escape life. To escape reality so I have no problem sculpting perfect people because that's where you escape to that's what you aspire to that's what that's the reason they have five to eight percent body fat because it's so unattainable for so many that it's something to aspire to right but in terms of adding fat um, yeah we can talk about that if you want to sculpt a fat person we can talk about that um, it's no problem um twisted thank you awesome stream my pleasure john quest unreal that happens i'll try to show up and do that in the future nice slump xd tipped awesome yeah if you don't have haters you ain't doing it right you damn right sparks low 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 these nuts quizzy quinn do you recommend your course for someone who hasn't taken anatomy classes those are the exact people i recommend to take my class ones that have not taken anatomy courses Admiral Supernova, is it okay if my sculpt is at the very earliest of stages, like the block out? Yeah, sure. Send it on over. Christian Moyano, hi from Ecuador. Uh, Rizuzan, haha. Uh, Math3D, it's an ideal health strength will in motion. You're damn right. I don't necessarily want to sculpt a fat person, but even the average person, and just to understand fat distribution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... Well, I mean, you can literally just go YouTube, where does fat collect? And then get your uh, references and all of that and go to town. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I have any more? Do I have any more? Mm. All right. We do. Uh, we have Andy. Head and hands because the rest is under armor. We will go over the head. Hands, you just look at your hands. Get real close, maybe close one eye. Don't have both of them open because you're not gonna be able to say you wanna close one eye and you wanna look at it, okay? Um, dun, dun, dun. Oh, 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 Alrighty, so, uh, let's take a look. Oh, okay. So let's talk about the head. Uh, let's sell this out. Uh, let's do this. Let's turn the eyes on. The eyebrows on. Um, 
And where are the ears? Okay, there are the ears. Okay, so... Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the ears and the head together and then I'm just gonna dynamesh it. Um, ba -ba 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 down, okay. Um, where the hell? Okay, so control W, uh, solo, yes, okay. So now I wanna dynamesh it. Let's see if this is. Going to kill it. Let's go 512. Dynamesh. No. There we go. Okay, so now we got it all together. Alrighty, so let's talk about the basics. Talk about the basics. You have a straight neck. Uh, whenever you have a straight neck, you have a broken neck. Okay? Uh, she doesn't have enough of an esophagus to breathe, so we're going to bring that forward, right? Just imagine taking a breath. Okay? Um, your ears are okay. Um, uh, you almost have it. What I would do is um, go here. You want to have this go in. You want uh, much deeper around here. Uh, you want to have your tragus and then your anti-tragus. And then you want to have your Y, right? So you want to have your Y coming down in here. Just like that. And real quick, we've got the ear blocked out. Okay. Um, and then we want to carry that skin over. So boom, boom. Boom, boom. Right there. Okay. So we want that. Alrighty. So, uh, next thing is that your jawline is pretty much nondescript. Right? Like, I can see it kind of doing this. But if we really went in here and was a whole lot more confident about this, it would ring more true. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go light box. Listen up! I'm gonna go light box, brush, smooth, smooth, stronger. And uh, that'll make our job a whole lot easier, okay? So the first issue with this is uh, that you don't have enough depth around the eye. Right here. Um, right here. So. Um, so there's really no depth here. You can see everything's the only depth you have is right around there and right around there But everything else is pretty much the same Depth so what I would like to see is a little bit more of the orbit especially near the nasal um, bone right here because generally um, the uh, The sexy fat pad is out here on the uh, outside. So we're gonna have the orbit and it's going to be this little raindrop right here, which is considered, uh, which is referred to as roof fat, retro orbicularis oculi fat. Okay, so we, we can have that, but we need much more depth around here. Okay, uh, your eye is almost right. You just need to lift this up a little bit more and then bring that down, right? So, and I just want this corner to bring that down. I want this straight and then I want it to go around, okay? And then that way we have something a little bit more interesting. And then we can raise these eyes so they're a little bit more uh, seductive. Uh, we're going to have equal distance around the eye. So you can see right here it's a little bit thinner. So I'm just going to fix that. And then we'll have the um, uh, highlights and shadows that we're looking for. Okay. Uh, next thing is that you don't have a cheek. And then you just have a zygomatic. Um, so what we need to do is we need to decide um okay so this is going to be the orbit right here okay so top of the orbit is top of the or bottom of the orbit is the top of the zygomatic and the zygomatic is always that's this bone right here on the side is always going to be the widest part of the face okay not not the head but the face so we want to make sure this is the widest part right here right so whenever I look down this should be uh, wider right here okay and then uh, y'all can do this trick too. just uh, mask the orbit right here and then you can see how it just goes back so I'm gonna fade this I'm gonna hold control and fade the mask and then I'm gonna bring all this forward okay um, and then if it gets too sharp you just smooth it out you got everything masked, so it's not really an issue. 
So something like that and get a little bit more of an orbit, right? So something like that and it automatically makes it more believable, right? Automatically uh, we're getting something um, that reads a whole lot better because now we have this orbit in here that we're actually basing the eye off of, okay? And then this is looking good. Um, and so now what we need is our glabella here, right? So we need this. Um, we'll get the nasal labial in just a second, but we really need that. And you can see how your nose is just flowing into everything, right? Your nose needs to be your nose, right? So this needs to be a whole separate thing from the rest of your face, right? So we really need to make sure the nasal bone is in there. And then we'll talk about the nasal bone as well. Um, and so now you've got this big dip here and what we need to do is fill it in with the nasal labial fold, okay? So you can see how it's kind of coming out and then going back in, right, like that. So we really wanna fix that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, dig away and then I'm gonna build up, dig away, build up, just so I can kind of level off this playing field a little bit more, okay? And so the next thing is that uh, we need more of a malar. There's really not much on the side right here. So what we need to do is this is the bottom of our nasal aperture. So that's going to be the bottom of our malar. So we have our the top of our zygomatic is uh, going to be here now. It's going to be right there. So we're going to dig that out. Then we're going to have this malar go this way. And it's going to reach the bottom of our nasal aperture, so it's not gonna go any further, right? It's just gonna go there. And then we're going to flatten this part, okay? Flat, 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 flat. Then have that corner right here and have it turn, right? So this is, uh, this corner right here is called your malar eminence, which is a point that your zygomatic ends and then the front of your face begins, okay? Um, so we've got that going on. And now what we wanna do is we wanna connect the masseter. So the masseter is everything, in the muscle that we use to maciate food or to eat food. So we can put that in there as well. Okay, and smooth it all out. Take a look. And it's looking okay. Um, and so, now your chin just has too many sides to it, okay? Uh, you also, you can see that the highlight is right here in the center. So we really wanna soften this out, make it a little bit more rounder, especially for a female, and um, really wanna hit um, the submental, submental fat really isn't a big uh, issue most of the time. You're really not going to be sculpting that a lot. Then you're going to have your depressor muscles right here for your lips. And we really want a nice solid uh, mandible here. We don't want any deviation on there or else it's gonna make her look old or unhealthy. So now I'm gonna fill all this in so it doesn't look like she's too gaunt. All right, right there. Fill all that in. Um, and then you need the nodes of your mouth. So you can see how yours is just a line that's separated. What we need to do is we need to put a little cashew in here, right? At the corner of the mouth. Right there, okay? Uh, your philtrum is a little shallow, so a little bit deeper. Uh, your vermilion border or the, your lip right here, a little bit stronger. And then make sure that your bottom lip is coming from within your top lip. It's not meeting on the corners, right? Because then it's gonna look pretty fake. I mean, not to say that it doesn't ever happen, but too many people do it, and it's more of a mistake than it is um, mastery of form, right? So, uh, or mastery of anatomy. So, a little bit more right there. Uh, we're gonna have the Cupid's bow. So, one, two, and three in terms of fat pads, or pads of the lips, right? The vermilion, or the uh, philtrum, and then the two on the outside, and then we're gonna bisect the bottom lip, okay? Um, and we can make it a little bit wider. The mouth is a little bit too uh, small. 
We want the corners of the um, mouth to pretty much reach the corner of the uh, of the iris, right? Uh, there we go. Um, and then if you ever want to know where the break of the uh, eyebrow is, it's always going to be at the temple, right? 100% of the time at the temporal arch is where your eye will break every time. So ladies, I know you're in there. I know this is your favorite streaming show. So if you are painting on your eyebrows, you probably just figured out you've been doing it wrong your entire life. But now you know how to fix it. And now you're not going to look so weird when you go out drinking with your friends and they're not going to be pointing at you and laughing at you as much as they used to. Because now you know how to paint your eyebrows. Okay? And you're welcome. You're welcome. Go ahead. Write it in the chat. Thank you, Spicer, for making sure my face doesn't look all messed up whenever I do my makeup. Thank you, Spicer. Okay? Write it in the chat. Um... John Quest on Real That Happens, I'll try to show up and do that in the future. Nice. Um, ba, ba, ba. Uh, do you recommend your course for someone who hasn't taken anatomy classes? Yes, that is the perfect person to take this class so that we can set you up with your anatomy skills from the very beginning as opposed to you creating all these uh, horrible um, tendencies to sculpt things incorrectly. So uh, we'll start you off on the right foot. Uh, uh, Christian Moyano, hi from Ecuador. Hello. Oh, I already read all these. Um, Slump XD, my beautiful ears. Uh, since Metalocalypse uh, is coming back, I feel like sculpting one of the band members. Oh, hell yeah. John, Lord of the Rings, Loiza. Oh my god, nice. Great tips. Thank you very much. Karan Bundele, thank you for the guidance. Surely I'll look for the course. Thank you. Playlist for background music. Uh, yeah. I give this out at least once. Every stream. So there you go. There's the list for that. Um, what's the Malar? Uh, Malar is the front part of your cheek right here. Okay. Um, John, Lord of the Rings, Loiza. Beautiful. You are great. Thank you very much. Omega lol. Hi, Spicer and Chad. I'm on the Discord already. Where can I send projects to critique? You can only send ZTLs to critique. That is going up to your tool menu and save as right here. And you put in the critique submissions uh, in the dojo. Okay. Make sure you put it in the dojo, not in uh, the... Um, uh, not in the Pixelogic Discord, in my Discord, the ZBHO Dojo. There you go. Um, thank you, Spicer, for the makeup tips. You're welcome, Reezy. Thanks for making such a hard topic so manageable. M manageable. Monogable. You're welcome. You're welcome. Alrighty, so uh, now what we need to do is we need to work on this nose, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to push. You see how far that is right here? This uh, nasal labial fold. I'm really going to push that back and make sure we have a nose first. And then we have the nasal labial. Okay. Um, here we want to uh, get this uh, these nostrils and make sure that they're nice and soft. Okay. Right here you have a very hard edge to all this. So what I'm going to do is soften this out and give it a little bit wider uh, berth, okay? Now, whenever you're sculpting the nose, you want this to go back up into the nose, right? So this um, B S W, okay. So you want this to go back up into the nose right here, right? You want this alar cartilage to go back up into the nose right here. So there's the septal, and then there's that, uh, that plane change right here, okay? And then you want your alar cartilage to make this little hook right here. Okay, boom, 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 boom. All right, and so that's what you want your nose to do. Okay, right here, we're gonna add a whole lot more depth around the eye and the nose especially so that we can get this looking good, okay? Uh, let's get this a little bit deeper. Okay, and so now what we need to do 
is we need to put in our infraorbital furrow, right? So that's going to be right here from this canthal tendon, and it's just going to go pretty much like that. I mean, it comes in many shapes. It goes that way, uh, goes that way, goes down. You know, it's just uh, each person is different, um, but it is always going to follow the orbit, right? So this is the this is the orbit. So you'll have you know slight variations, but you'll always have this infraorbital furrow okay all righty so now what i want to do is bring in the nasal labial so this is going to go here go around the node of the mouth roughly stop right about there okay smooth it out because we don't want it too descript for a female face it's going to make her look old okay and then right underneath here we're just going to fill up the space so it's not so uh cavernous and then you can see your septal cartilage it's getting kind of wide so we're going to bring that in bring that in push your nostrils back okay and then we can kind of make it whatever knows we want to make it now since we have the basics uh and you want to make sure your glabella is a little bit lower for a female than it is a male okay um boom 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 Okay, uh, so there we go. Um, and then the final thing would be to get your frontal bone or your uh, forehead a little bit more uh, in tune so that it, I'm not going to give them, you know, that, you know, but I am going to hint at it and then I'm gonna smooth it out, okay? And then here where we put the break in our eyebrow want to have that uh, temple, temporalis, temporal arch right there. Okay, uh, we're going to fill in all this so it doesn't look like she overuses her depressor muscles. So, um, we got all that. We can uh, smooth that out. Uh, want to narrow that out, get a little bit flatter. Like this. Okay. Um, carry that over. We don't want it. We don't want a brow, right? We don't want, uh, this is actually too much of a brow. I'm going to kick that back. And then I kind of want to dig around the top of my temple right here and then smooth it out. And then that way I can get that whoop and then have it go in and then have the chin or the, um, yeah, the chin right there. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I would do to fix this face up for you. Um, let's take a look at what it was and what it is. I'm just going to smooth all this out right there. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I can do. I always like putting a little smirk in here. I love lips that do that. Oh, I love lips. That don't... Okay, um, and generally, you're going to have a one to three on the lips. One up here and three down here in terms of uh, volume, right? So, you know, Angelina Jolie is probably the best example of that. Or the most iconic, not the best. Okay. Right there. All righty. So what she is, and what she was, unexpected three-dimensional dance. You got the moves. 
Is it okay to touch my face while you're sculpting? Absolutely. All right. So uh, I wish we could turn the... There we go. All right, so we'll just take it from here. But you can see, you see how your nose is going into your face and then my nose is a nose. And then uh, you don't, the reason that your eyes don't look right is because the bottom of your orbit isn't anywhere, right? And then just smoother and then pushing, because right now your cheek is just going straight this way. So mine's going flat and then it's going around, right? Which is going to add a whole lot more uh, what we're looking for around here, okay? Uh, also the uh, forehead just a little bit taking out the brow and um, and then smoothing out these lips and filling them in so we don't have such a depression right here on the side of the nose okay and then making the chin a whole lot softer and making the lips a whole lot softer as well okay but that's what I would do Brazil all right so hopefully that helps you out brother or Shisher? She, I don't know. Alrighty, so let's see what else we got. We got Admiral Supernova. If it's anime, you might want to talk to um, Pixelogic Dasuki if this is uh, an anime character. Um. So, okay, so you got the heads. Yeah, if it's an anime character, then you definitely want to talk to um, Pixelogic Dasuki. He is really good at that and streams uh, for Pixelogic. Okay, so we got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, so, on this, let's turn that off, turn that off. Um, okay. So, <clears throat> I know you are doing a uh, stylized character, but I would really, really suggest you try a realistic character. So for that, if you go here to Lightbox and you go to Tool and you go to Ryan Kingsland and you double click it, it's gonna give you this model, okay? Princess. But if you solo this out, you'll realize that you only have a skeleton here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your character and I am going to insert the skeleton. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Um, and what I'm going to do is put this uh, right here in this right on top of the scapula or uh, sternum. I'm going to mirror and weld it. And uh, I'm gonna put it right where the head of your sternum is. Right about there. And then I'm gonna shrink it down until it kind of fits. Okay, uh, let's get rid of these heads. Let's go transparency. Uh, let's move this back. Uh, and we can probably so you can kind of see how off your um, your proportions are, right? Uh, in terms of the size of your head to everything else. Um, <clears throat> and I, if you're just starting out, I would stay far, far away from stylized work. Far away from it. Because you are either going to learn habits that are going to hurt you in the end, or you're going to um, uh, you're going to be learning how to sculpt anatomy and uh, the body in a very um, very counterintuitive way, right? Uh, because the people that are doing this type of work, um, the ones that are really good at it, not the ones that are just being hired and doing whatever, but the ones that are really really good at it know their anatomy. And they're using anatomy for uh, anime, right? Um, or comic books or whatever it is. And they're adding that into it to bring in a whole lot more uh, believability. And so if you can get realism 
and you can do that on a consistent basis, then you will be able to do stylized work within a matter of just a couple hours, right? So you can see how uh, narrow your um, your shoulder width was, right? And so I would start using this method to kind of um, uh, to kind of hone in your skills, because again, you shouldn't be attempting. No one should be attempting anime before being able to like sculpt something realistically, because it's just your your work's always going to look like it's missing something. Uh, I don't care how long you do it. It's always going to look like it's missing something because you skipped anatomy. You skipped uh, learning the uh, the basics. So you're always going to be missing that from your work. Um, and you definitely don't want to go forward and then go back. I mean, one step, two steps forward, one step back is fine. But you don't want to get to a point where you're like, man, I don't like anything I'm doing. I want to, um, I want to be better, but I don't know how. You know, you don't want to get to that point. Um, you want to start um, from getting your anatomy down before anything else. Um, but yeah, those are the type of things that, that I would do for this piece. Um, right. Um, so please do that. Don't, don't, um, don't hurt yourself uh, in your career by skipping steps. Uh, it may not be the sexiest thing or the most fun thing, but it will be the most beneficial to your entire career if you can do that. Because um, uh, if you can't sculpt a real arm, then you can't sculpt a cartoon arm. Even as simple as it looks, uh, you're just not going to do it right. It's just something's always going to be off. You can always tell um, those that studied anatomy and those that just sculpt off of pictures. I can always tell every single time um so yeah so that's what i would do um for yours because it's just it's too all over the place uh and we need to um uh, bring it back home bring it on home and uh, i'm not sure why everybody uses a separate mesh method i would start just sculpting in one piece i, I don't understand why people sculpt in so many different pieces. Um, for the breasts, I would worry about this at the very end. I won't worry about this at all right now because you need to get the pectoralis and all of that correct first before you put the breast on here. But um, but yeah, I never understood why people sculpted in separate pieces. I mean, doesn't that, doesn't that frustrate you? Doesn't it frustrate you? It frustrates the hell out of me. I couldn't do that. I need one piece. One piece. Uh, but yeah. So that's what I would do. That's what I would do. Um, Andy Muzar, thank you so much. My pleasure. Carbon, thank you for taking care of that. Admiral Supernova, what if I knew how to do that before it would have made my life so much easier? Oh, yeah. Uh, Spar, let's see. Bernardo Amorum Iea Cadio. Alrighty. Honestly, that skeleton alone would help me. This is my fourth character. Nice. Keep going. Kurt! It's why art school has strong life drawing co uh, component to learn anatomy, even animation work. Yep. Uh, John Quest, listen to him. He is super right. Uh, Sparks, uh, I learned some anatomy from anime books, and it was so hard. You really need to understand anatomy before you simplify it. Couldn't said it better. Admiral Supernova, it's easier to fix individual parts if they are in multiple pieces. I don't know about that. Because it's all one piece. You know, it's already one piece. You're putting in more pieces. Solve it! Okay, uh, but yeah, that's what I would do uh, before doing anything else. I would get uh, your... Uh, your <laughs> she looks really, really sad. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you definitely want to um, get this down first, okay? Um, and then move on to all the other stuff. Don't skip a step. Okay? 
Um, but yeah. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Alrighty. So, uh, let's see. Okay. Well. Let us give thanks. Oh, uh, well, actually, um, let me hit y'all with something. Stick around for a second. Okay, so you can go to XMD Academy. Uh, you can um, uh, take my class one on one or on demand. You can use, um, what was it? Spicy what? Why can't you just use a regular damn. Was it mega spicy? What is it? Yeah, mega spicy 45. You can get a uh, 45% off the on demand or the. Um, so it's like, uh, where is it? Where are you? There you are. Um, so you can use this and get 45% off the uh, mentorship, the on demand, or any of the payment plans. Uh, also, I have something that's a little bit more affordable. So uh, I know a lot of people are here because of the anatomy that I teach um, and uh, they want to learn more. Uh, you can do that by going to my art station store and you can pick up uh, any of these. These are all five star tutorials. I would get the spicy bundle. Um, it's on sale right now. I think it's like 25% off or something like that. So this is a perfect time to buy. But we have back anatomy, deltoids, pecs, bicep, tricep, key shot rendering, and upper leg anatomy uh, for ZBrush and key shot. And all of these are put into the spicy bundle. So let's say you buy this at this price. Anything I add, you'll automatically get for free, right? So if I add nose, eye, ear, it's all going to be uh, separate modules, but it's also automatically going to be added here and you get it for free. So this is definitely the best bundle uh, to get. Uh, finally, you have um, Shotgun Scream, uh, Merch, Keep the Dojo Doors Open, um, and um, Pick Yourself Up a Shirt, and uh, get the race car red. Uh, Admiral Supernova, the skeleton I just used was a female skeleton. Um, and so, uh, yeah, you can get all of these shirts, so definitely go check it out. And finally, make sure you join the ZB Ho Dojo Discord. Uh, we um, have sculpt offs every Monday night, uh, except for this week and next week uh, due to the holidays and client work. Um, but yeah, definitely join, uh, get in the dojo, and um, join us during the speed sculpt offs. Um, and let's turn this down. Alrighty. But before we go, let us give thanks and praise to the Lord Scott E. Aiton and the E. Aiton Templar. Thank you for being here. Thank you for submitting your work for me to uh, help you out with. I hope you got a chance to sign up for the course. Uh, definitely go to the art station, pick up uh, all of those tutorials. They will help you out. They are all five stars. Um, uh, registration is open for the mentorship in which we're basically doing what uh, we just saw, but it's just gonna be you and me for about an hour. And we'll work on a collectible, make sure it's dramatic, make sure it's in motion, make sure you have a mastery of anatomy, um, uh, or at least level you up in anatomy so that you can be on your way to mastering it. Um, it is a six week course with a one, uh, our first session is an interview just to figure out who you are, where you are, where you wanna go, and then our sessions will begin after that. So it's pretty much seven sessions, but 
six of those are full hours. The first one's about 15 minutes. But um, yeah, we're just finishing up uh, the latest semester and lots of great improvement, just like every other semester. So if you're learning, if you want to learn, you want to get better, you want to get quicker, you want to be better at anatomy, male and female, then you need to sign up for the course. We'll get you set up uh, and we'll level you up. And that is a personal, personal guarantee from the spicy sensei. Okay. So we have over, um, we have over 140 billion people watching right now, but we are all one, one, one. One, 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 one.